Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to find the square root, cube root, fourth root and the fifth root of a number using the prime factorization method. At the end of the video, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. To find any root value, you should know how to make the prime factors of a number. For example, if we have to calculate the square root of 16384, we have to calculate the prime factors of this number to find out the square root. In the square root, we have to write here 2 or we can write it without that number 2. If we make this symbol without any numbers here, that automatically means that we have to calculate the square root. So let's make the prime factors of this number. So if I have to make the prime factors, I will divide this with the prime numbers and I have to see which prime number I have to write here. So this is divisible by 2. I have to write down here 2. When I divide it, I'll get it, this one. And we will keep on doing it till the time we will not get 1 at the end. Now we have got here 1, so that means the prime factorization for this number is done. Now since we are calculating the square root and we have here 2, that means we have to make the set of two same numbers. So let's make it set of two same numbers, another one and so on. Once we are done with making these sets, then we have to write down the number ones from each set. Now to find out the square root, we have to write down all these numbers and we have to multiply it. So how many times we have to write down here two? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's write down. Now we have to multiply it. 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8, 8 twos are 16, 16 twos are 32, 32 twos are 64, 64 twos are 128. So the square root of this number is equals to 128. Similarly, let's find out the cube root of a number. Cube root means in place of 2, we will write down now 3. That means if we have written 3, we have to make the set of three same numbers. So let's work out it with the example. So let's find out the cube root of 216. We will make the prime factors of this number again. We divide this with 2 and we will keep on doing it till the time we are not getting 1 at the end. Now we have to make the set of three same numbers and we have to write down this number once from each set. So we'll get the answer as 2 into 3 which is equals to 6. So that is the cube root of 216. Now if we have to find out the fourth root of a number. So we'll take an example 10,000. So since we have written here 4, it means we have to make the set of same four numbers. So let's make the prime factors of it. And again, we have to keep on doing till the time we will not get one at the end. Now, since I have got here 1, I have to make the set. This is the one set with the same four numbers. This is the set of 5 with the same numbers. So, we will write down the number only once out of each set. And the answer is 2 into 5, which is equal to 10. So, the fourth root of 10,000 is equal to 10. Similarly, let's find out the fifth root of the number. 
fifth root means now we will write on here five. So we have to make the set of five same numbers. Let's find out the fifth root of 1024. For that, we have to find the prime factors of it. So we will keep on dividing till the time we will not get one at the end. Now we are done with that. Now we have to make the set of five same numbers and from each set we have to write down the number once. So the fifth root of 1024 is equals to 4. So this is how we can find out the nth root of any number. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share, and leave a comment in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.